and welcome everybody here in Twitch Chats and everybody on YouTube for some five color Arcbow Fires. That's right, we're going a we're going with a deck that's five color that's built around Vivian's Arcbow and Fires of Invention. We're gonna be playing this over in Best of One, this Best of One Day Monday. And of course, today was the uh, bannings. We got the new format. There's no more Oko Thief of Crown, no more Veil of Summer, no more Once Upon a Time. And especially with no more Oko Thief of Crowns, I think this this deck uh, gains a lot because this was a deck that was very bad against Oko. Because the, the point of our deck, as you can tell, is to get five mana and start playing a whole bunch of five drops every single turn. Uh, as you can tell, you know, we got a lot of five drops in here. Um, and so if we have Fires of Invention, we get to play two five mana cards a turn. And then with Vivian's Arcbow, um, basically how this works is we can use, you know, our mana three times during the turn. Um, we have, we get to play two spells for free with Fires of Invention, and then we just pay X and discard a card and look at the top X cards of our library and put a creature card from among them into play. So if we have five mana and we have Fires and Arcbow in play, we get to play two five drops with the Fires of Invention and also use Arcbow X as five and put something else into play as well. And of course we can do that instant speed. So we can still have instant speed stuff even with Fires of Invention in play. So that's pretty powerful too. So of course we need a lot of cards in hand to be able to do all of that stuff. So we have the Risen Reefs um, getting us a lot of card advantage with all of these Cavaliers. The Cavalier of Gales and the Cavalier of Flames can also help refill our hands as well. Um, and then if we get a whole bunch of lands in play, then Omnath will start drawing us cards also. Uh, to go along with that, we have a couple Fey of Wishes that can just be an early blocker, um, but then can, we can also do the granted part with Fires of Invention, and then we have a sideboard filled with different things that we may want depending on the situation, um, including Blast Zone. If we, if, you know, maybe we have four mana, we need that fifth land to go with Fires, and plus Blast Zone can wipe out a bunch of Witches' Ovens as well. So a lot of cool things over here in our sideboard that we could grab. Um, but then, yeah, we we got 27 lands in this deck because we really want to hit our, like, you know, our five land drops. And so we have a Boreal Grazer and Grow Spiral to help put that extra lands into play and get us there fast. Because, of course, with Fires of Invention, the, the actual amount of lands that you have in play is very important. Um, but, yeah, so there we go. That's that's what our deck's all about. Let's, let's give this a try. Let's see how it does. This could be pretty sweet. I'm excited about playing this one. What do you think, Hawkeye? You excited about playing this one? All right, so we're going best of one. We're going to be playing it over in ranked. We'll be playing like we'll be playing uh, seven seven games over in ranked. Um, I don't, I don't know, I don't know what your question's asking, Yud. I don't, I don't understand your question. All right, I'll turn. You got here just in time. Here we go. Good looking hand. We're gonna need that fourth and or fifth land. Uh, Grow Spar will help us get there. Yud, back for a full year. Y'all give it up for Yud. Yud does an amazing job making our awesome uh, thumbnails over on YouTube. They're beautiful. And that is all Yud. And that's another sub goal. So that's our, our next, that's our first sub goal towards our uh, next 12 hour stream. We got enough sub goals to get to a 12 hour stream earlier. <laughs> yeah, it says, one full year. I love it. Love the jank. Love the fun. Thank you as always. Thank you, awesome. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, thank you also. All right, so we're going to grow spiral here. Land. Oh no. Are we Is our 27 land deck? We keep 3 lands on the draw. We better get that fourth land. Come on. Come on, deck. Land, please. Woo! Barely. Barely got there. Alright, here we go. 
So I think I want to just start with Omnath. I think I just want to start with Omnath and shoot this 1-1. Make it so hopefully the 5-5 doesn't get to attack me this next turn. Alright, Rev Daddy, have a good night. Um, I can I can fave wish for depending on like what my opponent does here, their mono green deck. I can fave wish for um, Kaya's Wrath. Which it looks like that's what I'm gonna be doing. I think we just want to keep our life total high. Blow up a bunch of mana dorks. That was mean. Mana creatures. They're doing their best. But see, this could be a time where I grab that fifth land to be able to cast Kenrith and Cavalier of Flames and stuff like that. Where's Kai's Wrath? There you are. Fae of Wishes is so powerful in Best of One. Hmm. Oh, really? Okay, awesome. Yeah, yeah you're not always talking, but you're here about 85% of the time lurking. Cool. I mean, if we if we have a way of displaying the full sideboard in the screen with no need for scrolling, uh, not real, not with that. You can you can do it like the other way where you can just show the whole sideboard or the whole deck. But you can't show the side. Basically, you can't show the deck with the full sideboard. I know it's it's not the best system. Um, I think I just. Try to draw my card. I just want a fifth land. There we go. Okay. So we got our fifth land. So we're going to... Cavalier of Gales. Well, yeah. Cavalier of Gales also just works really well with Arcbow. How we get to put... Um, whatever we want back on top that we can like then go put with Arcbow into play. So that works really well too. All right, so we can we can Kenrith and put counters on our creatures, be able to block the six seven, make it larger. I can also, if we don't need to, if they don't attack, I'll just arc bow for five and put this Cavalier of Flame into play, and cycle these things away. I didn't put a Legion's End in, in my sideboard to grab with Fae of Wishes. All right, so we got six mana now, so we got Casualties of War, Nicol Bolas, oh, it's just Nicol Bolas. Gods once, I am one again. Suffer for your cause. All right, we'll be activating Arcbo. Through this 
this land, we are all connected. This deck is sweet. This deck is sweet. Works a lot better when you have fires of invention, though, for sure. <laughs> and sweet Matt says, today has been a sweet standard day. I agree. What's the best anti-cat deck type? Um, you probably want to be playing Blast Zone in, in your mana base. There's, there's a lot of cards you can play uh, to shut down that combo. All right, looking for fires. Not fires. I do need a fifth land, but we're a 27 land deck. We'll probably draw another land. Correct, SSJ. Correct. All right, and we'll be able to play Castle Vantress next turn. Ooh, I don't have any white mana. Still don't have white mana. <sighs> Lucky. I'm jealous. They got fires of invention, I don't. And they they played nothing. Um turn one, two, or three, and I I played like growth spiral. And I had a temple to scry. And I didn't find it. All right, so I'm not going to upkeep castle because I want to be able to play. Ooh. Oh, man, that's big. Oh, man, that's big. Okay, so... I kind of want to just Unmoored Ego, Fae of Wishes. I wish I had a Fires in the, in the sideboard at, at this point, but I don't. I can't play a Planeswalker if I do. All right, get rid of these Fae of Wishes. All right, so they're Planeswalker version. A bunch of Teferis. Three Sarkin, one Kenrith. Four, is it four Sarkin? Oh, no, three or four Sarkin and, and a Kenrith. All right, so those, those look like they're only win cons now. Looks like three Sarkins and a Kenrith. I don't have very much white mana in the deck. The past, present, and future. Um, what do I got? I have one, prepare. two. I have two untapped white sources, and then a temple also. Hmm. 
Mm. Kind of the unfortunate thing is that Cavalier of Dawn would be a great card to hit off of this arc bow. But I can't hit Cavalier of Dawn because they're in my hand. <laughs> uh. Those who cannot proceed beyond the veil of the hone your prowess. Wow. This card's so bad against Narset. I guess I still play it, though. So it's just draw one and then put two back. I won't forget our time together. So I so basically I could set that up of, of being able to either put Kenrith or Cavalier of Dawn into play. I can use Kenrith to reanimate Cavalier of Dawn. Also. There are so many mysteries to uncover. I have just the trick for this. I think I can maybe do so that's that's it. That's all they can play, right? So I just gotta do fifteen damage. I think that's doable. So I was going to have, so that's, that's 6, and then 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I think I only had 12 there. I don't know. My opponent, my opponent conceded, though. Um, no, I had more, I guess. Because let's see, wait, I, oh, yeah, yeah, because I, I would just reanimate the Cavalier, and that's, that's seven power. You know, because I destroy my arc bow. Yeah, reanimate cavalier, destroy arc bow. That's seven power. That's 13, and then that's 14. No, so that's still only 14. They were at 15. Hmm. I couldn't get the... Yeah, so I would have had... I think I had 14. But they conceded.
Hmm. We're on the draw. Is our is our twenty seven land deck just gonna draw a bunch of lands? Like the second Arboreal Grazer we just discard to, to Arcbow. You know, like we use the the first one puts in the steam vents. The second one we discard. I can also just mulligan. Probably should just mulligan. Yeah, on the play, I would definitely mulligan. I, th I think I'm still just going to mulligan. All right, I like this more. Edgewall Innkeeper. Opponent playing one mana one one dot deck. Still not doing anything this turn, but my next turn is going to be sweet. We can spend 15 mana next turn. I can play Blue Cavalier, White Cavalier, and Arcbow for 5. But we're going to be down to at least 9. Or 8, I guess. At least 8. Hmm. Could be game. No, it's 12. Okay. Not game yet. I don't get a shock in with st steam vents, though. All right, so we at least know we can hit an Arboreal Grazer. <sighs> I kind of need to Cavalier one of my own things. I, d I don't think I can Cavalier their things. Oh, gosh, do I need a Cavalier Embercleave? Can I stay alive if I Cavalier Embercleave? I don't, I can't, I can't, I don't have two spells. I already played the Cavalier of Dawns that drew me the Fey of Wishes, so I can't, I can't play Fey and then Kaya's Wrath. Grazer's just a better blocker than Risen Reef. 
even though obviously I'd rather have Risen Reef. I'd have to just try to survive this turn. I'm just taking the best blocker I can. And if, if Cavalier of Dawn dies, we can pick up Vivian's Arcbow anyway. I mean, we can... No, I mean, we survive this attack. We only take one damage if they attack out. We take one... We, this thing hits us. It's like they have to have something else. I should just block. So how how I would block is normally I would I would have Cavalier of Dawn and Cavalier of Gales both block the Rimrock Knight. Um, like if they would have attacked out, I would have had both of these two block the Rimrock Knight. The three three block like the you know a one one and the Grazer block a one one. And then I would have taken one damage. And so that even if they would have had the Fervent Champion pump this and it's five power with double strike, the, the their first strike damage would kill the Cavalier of Gales. And then the, for the second part, they would still only have five damage and not get through the six toughness. So they did not have they did not have lethal by just attacking out. I could I could have just taken one could have just taken this one one. Yeah, they just played the Love Struck Beast this turn. This thing was summoning sick. So my options here are Time Wipe, or, oh, I don't have Clarion anymore. All right, gotta hope they don't have haste. Because I, I already played my two spells of playing Fave Wishes and then Time Wipe. I don't get to play another spell. Ugh, three power. Or three toughness. That's a good one.
do do do. Ah, uh, haste. I don't like haste. Ooh, good. So now if, if Cavalier of Night dies, then I get to put the Fae, I'd sack the Fae of Wishes so that if, if Cavalier of Night dies, I get to put the Fae of Wishes. Oh, it just goes back to the battlefield, doesn't it? Oh no, Questing Beast. Ugh, that was like their only draw. Yeah, that's, that's game, darn. I was so close. I was so close. Ah. Uh. Yeah, it's sickening. You can't you can't do anything about questing beast. You can't block questing beast ember cleave whatsoever. It's sickening. Planet planetary for heal draw? Like we're talking about plain white celebration? I mean I whenever I used Fae of Wishes a long time ago, I only had five lands. And they had a huge battlefield I needed to needed to um, I could have tried keeping car waiting and keeping cards in hand to try to pick up Oh, you know, waiting a couple of turns, try to pick it back up. So this doesn't do anything unless I draw Fires of Invention. I, I think I just keep the lands and just hit the land drops here. I mean, if I would have gotten Cry of the Carnarium to just to wipe all their board except for the Lovestruck Beast, if they just had another one mana 1-1, one, one, they just play the 1-1 one, one, and then they just have their Embercleave equipped to the Lovestruck Beast and I'm dead on the spot. It's definitely the right play to, to get time wipe. And that also allowed us to kill their Ember Cleave. Um, just the problem was, the problem was they had a second Ember Cleave, and then they had a Questing Beast. But we were we were really far ahead after we killed their Ember Cleave. Just unfortunate they had a second one. Hmm. I can definitely just discard this growth spiral uh, if we get a fifth land here. We'll just discard the growth spiral to Arc Bow. Yeah, I could have just played the, the Black Knight the previous turn. I was seeing if they if they drew a big creature again. You know, like like a love struck beast or whatever. If they they drew a big creature, I would have been able to kill it. But yeah, I could have just played it. Or the last turn, whenever I yeah, I guess I had the the black creature and then I just drew my drew a land. I could have. I 
could have picked the Fae of Wishes back up, and I, I would have had, what, either five or six lands or whatever I had at the point. I don't know. There's a lot of decisions to make. It's difficult. SSJ! All right, we got a donation deck here. All right, as you said, I was hoping you could do a Grixis midrange deck for you, four Robber of the Rich, four Thief of Sanity. Okay, and a Royal Scions type deck. Okay, anytime on Thursday, Ugin Sleeves, Bolus, Avatar. All right, I can do all of that. Okay, so I'll write you down here. For Thursday. Thank you so much there, SSJ. I'll put together Grixis Midrange for you there. Is it waiting on me? Well, that hurt. I want to have one white mana for Kenrith. I just, I didn't really want to risk Kenrith dying. Good turn. No. Uh, maybe we hit Risen Reef. So it's either I just hold this into my hand and then I draw another card and then I bounce Fae of Wishes and discard those two and then repl and then be able to re Fae of Wish. Or I just arc bow for six, which should hit something pretty sweet, because we haven't we haven't really seen good cards with our we've you know we've put like seven non five drops down to the bottom, so we should hit some five drops here with our arc bow.
But I could also just Kaya's Wrath next turn. Like, how's my opponent beating a Kaya's Wrath next turn? They probably aren't. Well, Arcbow is more fun. This is just, like, guaranteed Kaya's Wrath. Yeah, for how for how my opponent played that turn, it was just just made sense. You know, they didn't attack into the arc bow. It just made sense to it's free. Just made sense to pick it up in Kai's Wrath. All right, so we've dealt with three Spawn of Mayhems. All right, they're attacking. A little Arc Bow. Find Yurok. Ah, no Yurok. So we'll go Omnath. Can they activate Knight of the Ebon Legion? Yes, they can. We'll just kill this thing. Dang. Okay, and yeah, we want to just put the cards in hand to be able to discard to Fae of Wishes. That was pretty impressive there. I'm telling you, if, you know, like, these games that we've had fires and arc bow, it's just pretty impressive, the stuff that we get to do with this deck. Uh, we kind of lost that other one because we had to discard our, or we had to destroy our arc bow because we were so far behind. That was really the thing that really hurt us. The game that we lost. Nice, Starman. You put together a really solid Omnath Brawl deck. That sounds awesome. Uh, Rakdos Spirit going forward? Yeah, I like it. I like Rakdos Spirit. Um, yeah, I mean, I think that's a, a good deck to um, to play against all these aggro decks and stuff. and It's a fun deck to play. <laughs> yeah, this yeah we get to play this now that yeah we're elk free because getting all these cavaliers elked like Oko was such a huge problem for the deck that I'm playing. I was responsible for basically all of my losses. I don't I don't really need to wait on this grow spiral. I could wait, but then they could have like quench or negate. Especially negate. And now no more negates. Ah. Uh, so it looks like they're playing Simic Flash or Teamer Reclamation. Yeah, Teamer Reclamation. Hmm. Uh, come on. Come on, Arena. Come on, computer. You can do it. There you go, little buddy.
Ah, elementals. Yeah, whatever. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have put the forest in play. Maybe I should put that in my hand because of arc bow. But of course, the more mana I have with Arcbow means the more I get to put it in for. I think I'm just discarding, you know, like one of these. I guess I could discard the Stomping Ground here. Ever see a volcano erupt in person? You're about. Is it just me? Or is it getting a little warm in here? Hmm. Oh, I don't I don't have fires of invention for this Fae of Wishes anyway. I guess we just get this thing. Wish we would have hit that Kenrith. I wish we had one more card. I guess if I would have shocked, I could have gone one more card deep and I would have hit Kenrith there. Looks like that that may have cost me not shocking. Because then, yeah, Kenrith would have just eaten the Omnath. And then we'd have, you know, like the gain life ability and all the kind of stuff that Kenrith does. And we'd be able to pressure the Chandra. is risky. Yeah, that was risky. Should have just activated Arcbow for all the mana. You got it. Tried going for like the higher upside of getting another Risen Reef in play. You know, and hopefully drawing an, an untapped land. Yep, hindsight's twenty twenty. I would have activated for everything. I could have put this Cavalier of Gales into play. No. At that point, I only Fay of Wishes or a Boreal Grazer was the only thing that could could work there. Cavalier of Gales got me. I had my uncastables in hand. I like it better when we have Fires of Invention in play. Makes our life a lot easier. Um, Agent of Treachery would be a good sideboard card, like in best of three. We can't really have it in best of one because Fae of Wishes can't grab creatures. 
So it doesn't doesn't make any sense to put it in our sideboard for best of three. Or sorry, for best of one. Alright, perfect. We got fires, we got arc bow. Life's good. GG, Scrambler. GG's. It turned out, you know, I, I of course I, I had no idea at the time, but it turned out not shocking for that land cost me that game uh, with the the previous turn with the arc bow. My Kenrith was one card deeper, like when you make the attack, if I, if I would have shocked, I would have been able to hit Kenrith to eat the Omnath, and then I would have been able to pressure the Chandra and, you know, use Kenrith to gain life, all the stuff that Kenrith does. Feels like there's Simic Flash over here. I don't want this Fires of Invention countered. But I think I still play it. So even if they, like, hopefully they don't counter it. Yay. Yay. If they don't counter that, they're probably not going to counter this either. Yay. All right, now we got. Now we're set up. We're in business. Oh yeah, I mean, I'm not. I'm not saying that I. I was supposed to shock there. I'm just saying how that game turned out that it. Sorry, it would I'm have. Good. So I'm not saying like you know, as you're saying like results based. Like, I mean, I wouldn't shock the next time either. But I'm just saying if. It turns out that if we would have shocked, it would have been very nice for me. This I don't know if I need to get rid of that thing or not. This could be like Bant, I don't know, we played against Bant Reclamation earlier. This could be that Bant Reclamation type deck. High alert. Okay, that's not what I was expecting. Okay. Yep, not what I was expecting. Hmm. This time, I think we got plenty of life that so we can just shock here. All right, cool. I was gonna be able to. I was gonna be able to arc bow for six. It was really just deba debating whether I wanted to attack or not. I think I was gonna just land on not attacking because we were gonna be winning a longer game. I thought about. Um, I thought about getting Nicol Bolas. That was the other card besides. Uh, besides the casualties that I was thinking about getting. I was just getting Nicol Bolas and being able to discard the land and stuff. Alright, 4 and 2. I know, my hand was amazing. And... We played against a, an opponent playing some jank, and it was like, uh, my hand probably didn't need to be that amazing. That was like a perfect hand. Yeah, a lot of fires in best of one. Yeah, best of one, um... Bay of Wishes, very powerful for the format. Yeah. I think it's better in best of one than best of three. Because getting a sideboard is just so powerful. Mm 
where in best of three, both players already get a sideboard. And if you take up your sideboard slots for Fae of Wish package, you're going to be worse off. Hmm. Well, that hurt. I don't think I actually want Fae of Wishes here. I mean, I would spend next turn casting Fae of Wish and go going and grabbing, like, Tamiyo. And then I'd, the next turn I'll play Tamiyo and look for fires. <clears throat> Instead, I would like to just hit a land drop and play Kenrith with haste. Still doesn't kill Tamiyo. No. Lucky. Jealous. Do not harm my scrolls. Yeah, that that Clarion was was pretty big because obviously we were going to be able to Omnath, and we did have lands that we were going to get extra land drops there with the Risen Reef trigger. And just kind of move on. That was a perfect tick up. It, it not only gave them the fires they ticked up, but then it also put Fae of Wishes into their into their uh, graveyard that they get to minus and get Fae of Wishes back. To the library. Ugh. No fires. And no arc bow. It's a couple of ugly draw steps for us the next two turns. See, I, I don't think we should have a fires in the sideboard because it's just so important to draw it. I, I just want all four in the main deck. You know, I only have the two Fae of Wishes and... I think you will find my notes helpful. I don't know. I, I just want to have the, the best chance at drawing it. My Stop mind needs a rest. Me. My plan is crystallizing. So 
So attacking the Tamiyo means they don't get to minus the Tamiyo to pick anything up. Ugh, gross. My opponent's so good with Tamiyo tickups. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went on my main phase there. I tried to hit uh, like White Cavalier to destroy Tamiyo. That was my goal. Yeah, so, so Zythan says you increase your chances of getting it by 25% by putting one on the board because you have your three actuals plus your two fae versus five normal. But the two fae, it also, you have to spend the four mana to go grab it, and then the next turn, you know, then you play it. It's it's not like, it, while, while you do have 25% more cards that could be Fires of Invention, you also, like, two of those options are, are very slow in this fast best of one format. Um, and I, I, I really just want my... I just want the the four very fast chances at like my best possible ability. That was a surprising. That was surprising. Let me synthesize the facts. Neither of those were black sources, right? Yeah. So I can go grab Spyglass and name um, Royal Scions. Don't love that plan though. I think it's pretty easy for them to to get rid of Spyglass, and then they would ultimate Royal Scions. So instead of yeah, so I I can't really kill Tamio because they would just ultimate Royal Scions, and that would be pretty rough for me. Just a draw four. So going this route of just doing the two damage to the Royal Scions, um, getting Omnath above Clarion in case they have more of those. Ugh. 
I do not have Elder Spell, no. I have... I have Planar Cleansing, though. I have Casualties of War. I know I noted this somewhere. All right, so my plan is to planar cleansing next turn. No sword can pierce my I don't want my opponent to know about the planar cleansing though. I will call the dragons. I don't know if I actually want to cast Growth Spiral or not. Honestly. I don't think I do. have main deck disenchant in their deck. It's not game yet. Now it's game. Yeah, destroying my fires of invention obviously really hurts. My plan is crystallizing. Man, they're just discarding disenchant. They have two main deck disenchants. It's an opponent that wants to two main deck disenchants. So there's a lot of witches' ovens and fires of inventions, I guess. I follow the tracks of the wise.
There's nothing really that great to wish for. In this scenario. Get a whole bunch of stuff back with Plain White Celebration. You've already lost. You just was always an answer. When in doubt, mill him out. I mean, he's either grabbed Jace or Tamio. Cover my back, Roman! When in doubt, mill them out. All right, 15 cards. I have no, I have no, um, I have no confidence that Spyglass is going to do anything with my opponent not playing like any Teferis yet. I assume they have Teferi to, that would bounce Spyglass and then they would ultimate Royal Scion. So I have, I have no confidence with Spyglass. No confidence with Spyglass. Yeah, I can't, yeah, I can't cast like Casualties of War or anything with black mana. I mean, if we had single black, we could cast a bolus. Or no, no, sorry, that won't cost a lot of black. Sorry, single black, there was something else. Um, Enter the God Eternals. And there's the Teferi. I'll show Call that. Here we go. For the realm. So I guess they didn't want to block because they wanted to keep this around to be able to kill Jace. Come on, computer. Come on. Well, they have to worry about like drawing four. Like they have, they have eleven cards in in their library. So yeah, maybe. I mean, honestly, maybe they don't really want to ultimate roll scions. Drawing four. But I guess. Let's see. I don't know. They may have been able to kill me. There is no virtue without bravery. They are coming. I'm so close to killing him. I have so I can next turn I can Fay of Wish for for Well never mind. Let's say he go grab enter the God Eternals and kill this thing and everything, but all right. So it turns out in the Fires Mirror, having Fires of Invention right away is a whole lot better than never drawing Fires of Invention until the very end, and you and you don't even play anything with it, and then they blow it up with Casualties of War. So having fires out for 
15 turns versus zero. Person with the 15 turns wins. Yeah, so yeah, they had some weird yeah main deck choices, but yeah, that was so that was main deck. Um, I mean that's that's a two mana removal spell for like your for like your gruel haste creatures and everything like that. I kind of liked my opponent's deck how it yeah had that had disenchant like they were definitely attacking, um, gruel, uh, with that card, um, but then also um, all the other fires and witches oven decks and everything. And yeah, that that just pairs with Sarkin, you know, like that makes Sarkin like a, a one hit kill with having resurgence there. Um, but yep, yep, Fires Mirror is all about who has fires, and my opponent did, and I did not. But this deck was pretty sweet. We got to do a lot of cool things with this. Um, obviously, our deck was miles better when we had fires than when we didn't. Um, you could have a fires in the sideboard. To be able to grab with Fey, maybe there should be the fourth arc bow in the sideboard to be able to get with Fey. Um, if you if you do put a fires over there, you probably want to play more Fey's. Um, I think the card I was disappointed in the most was probably Cavalier of Night. This seemed to be the worst of our five drops. This seemed to be the worst of our Cavaliers. Um, the question is, is Cavalier Fires better than Super Friend Fires in general? And I don't, I don't think there's, I don't really have an answer there. I mean, this is something we just put together here and played it. I don't, I'm not really confident in saying either way. I myself like it more. I would rather play it than the Super Friends Fires, but I'm not confident in saying that it's better in general or necessarily that the, that the super friends fires is better in general either um anyway yeah arc bow was really good just grazer gro gross spiral. i'm glad we had 27 lands i think that really helped out having a 27th land instead of just playing like 26 um i wouldn't mind if you, if you wanted if you want to change something i wouldn't mind changing out the Cavalier of Night for something else. Could just be a third Fey of Wishes, honestly. Fey of Wishes was was really impressive. Um, I'd probably want to do that. Fey's still a good blocker against aggro, being a 1-4. I'd probably just change that. Um, I, liked, I liked the sideboard. I liked what we had in the sideboard. I liked I liked our card choices honestly. It would be nice to have one elder spell, but again, you'd only be able to play that with fires of invention. I only have one black source in the deck, uh, just one overgrown tomb. Man, it's kind of rough playing five colors, of course. So I'm I'm not really, you know, like black spells. We basically need to have fires for. Um, I think that's that's something to change there. Oh, yeah, Rakdos Spirit is fun to play. Yep. That's probably my favorite deck to play that we played today was the Rakdos Spirit. That's my favorite one. Out of out of all the decks that we played there today, that was um, the, the deck list that I probably in, enjoy playing the most. But this one was really good, too. And uh, I think this is, you know, like, best of one, you get those Fey of Wishes in here. If you want to play this in best of three, I think you actually take out Fey of Wishes and replace this with a mana creature, like Paradise Druid um, or uh, or the O3, the elemental O3 that, that triggers Risen Reef. Probably replace that with a mana creature, and then you play, you know, a regular straight-up sideboard, um, you know, mostly team or colors. And, you know, if you're playing in best of three, play, like, an actual sideboard. Um, I think I just do that, but all right, there we go. That's five color Arcbow Fires. Pretty sweet deck that's now unlocked because of Oko being banned. This deck was uh, really hard to play with Oko being banned, but you can now. I guess one other thing is is maybe we should go more Cavalier of Gales and Cavalier of Flame. Maybe you don't need Cavalier of Dawn as much with Oko being banned. Um, this was this was really a card you needed to try to destroy Oko. But maybe you can get these to get a little bit more card advantage um, in there. And, uh, yeah, maybe, maybe you just turn it into a four-color deck and just get rid of your rock. 
you know, your rock's really cool, but maybe just turn into a four color deck, get rid of your rock, have a little bit more consistency. Um, and you can kind of maybe make a more of a, a straight up four color mana base to, to try to cast Kenrith and be able to activate Kenrith more and move towards uh, Kenrith being more important. I don't like, or I, I uh, wouldn't mind that idea either because Kenrith is amazing. All right, there we go. Five color Arco Fires. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, you know, to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave some comments, let me know what you think about the deck, anything that you want to change, all that kind of stuff. Um, what are you playing now with these new bannings, all that kind of stuff. Uh, leave some comments. Um, and of course, also, if you want to see uh, my, my thoughts on just all the bannings and like what's going to, what I think uh, can happen with the format, I hope you check out my Patreon page, link down below in the info panel. Um, I'll put the link here. It's just three dollars a month. Uh, if you're if you're uh, enjoy all my YouTube videos and want to help support my content, if you're a YouTube watcher, just three dollars a month to join the Patreon, and uh, you can see my written content over there as well, um, in including, uh, like I said, what I thought about the the bannings and what can happen with the standard format. What like you know winners, losers, that kind of thing. But thank you so much for watching some five color arc fires. And I'll see you for the next video. Say bye, Hawkeye. Bye, Hawkeye.